feel me seeing the title of the video i've been going for about like two three three four months but then when i got out i got hit with a gun case man a gun case someone did try to jump me into a game we're not gonna really speak onto that um i finally got grouped and everything i seen a couple more fights i seen people fighting over biscuits i seen people fighting over who was taller great let me say great like you know the food great but y'all know what i mean man so great um literally with a stick all the way up his junk what is up youtube is listen bella you a star you bound to go far me and you together they gon' really know who we are i done made a few mistakes i got me facing the charge fuck it i'ma spoil you already know that we ball said i smoke to keep the pain away me and i don't see how to i don't know what to think may have drunk a couple times and got the best of me told myself what's gonna mean up them niggas laughed at me what is up story time funny story time man you feel me seeing the title of the video i've been going for about like two three three four months i'm recording on my phone as well uh oh hey girl my leg hurts come here my leg hurts what's wrong with it i got broken bones girl you don't got no broken bones what you talking about it's right here girl your leg do not look broke you want to say what's up to the camera? My knee hurts. That's what you want to tell him? Yeah, my knee hurts. You want to sit down right here for Dada story time? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You can't say nothing, though, okay? You have to let Dada explain the story, okay? It's, this is how your dad went to jail. You remember where I went to jail? Yeah. You do? How long was I going for? You on the Huh? You on I went to jail? Yeah. How long was I going for? You dead in jail. We just beat you up. I ain't get beat up, girl. Or did I? Story time. That's why we gotta let him know, man. You ready to let him know? Yeah. You was missing Dada, though? Yeah. You was missing me a lot? Yeah. You love Dada? You love Dada? I went to the jail. You did not go to the jail. I get to the party. Okay. Anyways, man. So... We're about to explain the time I went to jail and the just pretty I much. I went to the princess party. Girl, you can't be doing none of that talking while Dada trying to explain his story. You gonna let Dada explain? Cause if not, you know you gotta go right back out there and you gotta watch that pad. You know that? Y'all see how big this girl done got though? She got three ponytails in right now. She just woke up like not too long ago. I made her some breakfast. Yeah, give me this wake up. Who you like? Who you like the most when people do your hair? Who you want to do your hair? I just don't know. You don't know? Yeah. You like when daddy do your hair? Yeah, it's just this. What is this so monster in my hair? There's not no monster in your hair, girl. You got this big behind head, though. Look at your big behind head. <laughs> no cap, but look. So. Your head is back. Girl, we never gonna finish this story time. <laughs> Princess party. I I'm knowing they trying to figure out how long you've been going and everything, too. Like, they they trying to see I you, I got too. Ayo. What's Ayo? Look, but look, look, look. You have to be quiet so Dad I can explain his story time. You're story time. You trying to do that, or you want to go back out there with your pad? Oh, my story time. You want to stay here? Yeah. Okay. Come on. You got to sit down and be quiet then, okay? You got to let Dad I talk, okay? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so she understands now, so come on. All right, so I don't even know where we should start off. Um, Pretty much, I will start off um saying that a couple months ago, um, this is my first time actually getting arrested after a bunch of incidents. I'm not going over the thing that happened in Houston. If y'all want to know about story time and arrest and everything, I think I made one when I first got out of jail and all that. So you guys can go check that out. But this is more updates and like how I got arrested again and stuff like that and just to answer a whole bunch of stuff and how the experience went and all that. Y'all guys gonna be able to hear all that. So pretty much it started off whenever I went to Alabama to go to a baby shower. I got permission from my probation officer. Girl, that's tripping me out, stop doing that. But I got permission from my probation officer and everything. And pretty much he said that 
uh, I had permission to go to Alabama. Um, he just needed the details of everything, where I was staying at, uh, who I was going with, who was driving, stuff like that. So pretty much he got all that information. And once he got all that information, just approved it. And it was like a couple of days after that. I believe that I went to Atlanta first for um to link up with my family to go to Alabama actually for the baby shower. So I went to Atlanta first with my fam. You guys seen that vlog whenever I took Bay Bella to Atlanta and stuff like that. Everything was going smooth. I'm not gonna lie. Everything was going perfect. Everything was going good. And so we had went to the baby shower in Alabama. Everything was still perfect. Uh, my cousin was driving for the most part, everything. I haven't even drove yet and everything. Like he's just been driving everything. Shout out to him, Zay Makula. So yeah, uh, pretty much. So we was on, um, we was driving back from Alabama to Atlanta because we were about to leave and everything. We had to see the fan one more time before we went back. Actually, actually, we were driving back from Alabama to Florida. We didn't even go to Atlanta more. We just decided to stay an extra day so we can get our rest and everything because Cuzzo was going to drive and stuff like that. So we had to get our rest and all that. So pretty much, this is what happened, man. So we were driving, you feel me? Cuzzo got tired and we had to switch. And it was like right before we was about to switch back, like 30 seconds. Hold up, baby. Hold up. Right before we was about to switch back, like 30 seconds into it literally got pulled over right. we're about to switch back and everything like because i'm about to drive for the remainder away literally got pulled over speeding once they look my name up a warrant for my arrest is out in a whole different state like it was in a warrant for my arrest is out in orlando orlando florida and i was in georgia i was in turner county actually so yeah i got arrested there uh you guys see my mug shot and everything if not uh be on the screen you feel me but yeah um so i got arrested I got arrested in Turner County, gave, gave my warrants and everything, said I had a warrant for ferry to appear for another one of my cases. Uh, Y'all gonna hear about that case in a little bit. Um, When I had that ferry to appear, I didn't even know I had that because I had no mail come in. And the case that they were talking about, my lawyer previously, he told me that the case got dropped. So that pretty much meant like, I didn't have to go to no more court dates. The case was pretty much over with, all that stuff was done for. So that's pretty much what he told me and everything. I guess he lied about that or he was confused about what happened and they gave me another court date or they might they might have reopened the case i don't know how that works in the court system i'm not like i'm really new to all this stuff even though i've been in some trouble before but like felonies and all that i got like two i think two felonies yeah i got two felonies so pretty much so yeah i was in turner county turner county is pretty straight man i don't think i seen did i see a fight in there uh no but there yeah there's some crazy stuff that happened in turner county so I went to Turner County as soon as I got in there, man. Uh, I went to my room and stuff like that to sell. Uh, I think at first I was by myself. Yes, I was by myself for like the first day or two. So I was just in there cooling by myself. I was chopping up with a whole bunch of people. I got to know a lot of people, man, learn what they was in there for. Like, it's actually a lot of cool people that was in there, man. A lot of stories that a lot of people was telling, man. A lot of things that happened in people's life, stuff like that, man. So I was just learning what to stay away from and how to pursue my life in a better way. From just hearing people's stories and all that. What's up? What you gotta tell me? I scared. You're scared? Yeah. What you scared of? Uh the boss. Boss? No. What? It's a monster. It's a monster where? On the couch. Girl, what are you talking yeah. about? Let me finish my story, man, before you get me off track. So Pretty much, yeah. I was just chopping up with everybody. Uh, people was making me food and everything, giving me ramen. Everything was cool. Uh, actually, the guard he knew me off social media and everything. He seen my TikToks and everything. He's like, "Wow, TikTok star coming here." You feel me? Like everything was just straight in there. I'm not gonna lie. Like, wasn't no bad beef between nobody. Nothing really bad happened. Like, I got to know a whole bunch of people in there. Hold up, baby. Hold up. Stop. I'm trying to tell my story. You wanna go back out there? You wanna go back out there? Bro, why you gotta do this? Just use your words. I want to say your bad things. Hmm. All right, man. So, anyways, like I was saying, so pretty much, this will happen next. Um, hold up, girl. Look, what you doing? We are gonna make a video about you tomorrow. You just gotta wait. Let Dada do this video. I want to do it. Girl, you over here sw swing your arms and everything. I'm trying to tell my story. I want to tell your story. You can tell your story tomorrow, okay? You can tell your story tomorrow. Story. You can tell your story tomorrow. Story. Girl, tell your story tomorrow. Hmm, sit down. Sit down. Stop doing your legs like that. Why you always making your legs straight? Hmm. Sit down. Girl. Look how she doing her legs every time I try to What the heck? Hmm. Pick up your pants. 
Got her a little bit dressed today, you feel me? Not too much, but something slight. Uh -huh, sit down. All right. So pretty much, like I said, I met a whole bunch of people. We were actually eating these things called pockets. Uh, it was mixed with ramen, chips, uh, seasoning, stuff like that. Bella, come on, what you doing? <laughs> no, you finna go out there. Yeah. Come on, let's go. My fault, guys. Sorry for that, man. Y'all know Bella is such a character, but pretty much, um, I had we was eating pockets and everything. Uh, it was ramen. It was seasonings. It was like grape jelly, like. A whole bunch of stuff people was mixing up and everything, man. I got to meet a whole bunch of people. I forgot a whole bunch of people's names in there. I'm not going to lie. Because whenever I was transferring over to the next stop, I actually lost a piece of paper that had all of their access information, all their contacts, everything. So I couldn't even reach out to nobody from there. And there was actually some people I wanted to reach out and everything, chop it up with and everything. Like, they had plans on doing stuff with their life and everything. And I could help them out a bunch. They could help me out with some stuff. So we was chopping up a little bit. And yeah, that pretty much could have helped a whole, whole bunch with a lot of stuff I had going on. But... So pretty much, uh, I had got a roommate. Um, I had got a roommate like two days after that, after I was chopping it up with a whole bunch of people. And my roommate was talking about some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, man. This man was over here like, he signed up for the Illuminati. He had to do some dangerous stuff to get to where he was. And any situation he goes in, he'd usually be able to get out of it and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, who is in my room right now, bro? Please don't let me get sacrificed while I'm chilling in this dang bed, bro. Like, I'm just trying to sleep, bro. I'm trying to sleep, man. I got my snacks right by my pillow, too, bro. I be waking up in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., grabbing some snacks and stuff when I'm hungry and stuff, bro. So, like, come on, bro. This man talking about the most craziest stuff, but it's all good because he was still real cool, bro. Like, he had, like, everything. Everything was going in motion. Girl, no. Girl, no. Why are you doing this? Yeah. You only want to do this on the camera, come on. Because you was not bothering me all day. This whole day, she has not said anything to me. Every time yeah. I try to get her to chill me, she didn't want to chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you doing this for the cameras? Yeah, 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 yeah. Use your words. Girl, you getting too big for all that. I guess you need to go back to school then because you're not using your words. What they teach you in school? It's your fault. It's whose fault? Fault. What Jazzy did? Pushed me a Jazzy pushed you on the floor? Yeah. Why are you capping? Jazzy hasn't even been out of her room all day. Jazzy beat me up. Let's see. Jasmine! Come here! So, I just need you to answer a question. You don't gotta be on camera. What? So, did you beat up Bella? Beat her up? She said you pushed her on the floor. You beat me up. No, I didn't. I don't beat you. Bella, stop hitting her and stop lying. Beat me Come here. Up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come up. here. Come here. Come here. She thinks she's gonna get a whoop. That's why she's standing right here. Come here. Yes. Yes, come here. Yes, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Yes. What you crying for? No one you did nothing to you yet. You got soft skin. Come here. Why? I scared you. Of course you should be. The heck, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Huh? Bella, you know it's not good to not tell the truth, right? What are you crying for? Nobody even laid a hand on you. What are you crying for? Yeah. Scared of what? Scared you. I'm not going to do nothing to you. You lucky I don't do nothing to you. You literally get spared every time. You do me. Bella, you sit up here, you hit people, you cuss, you lie. You play, well, I can't say you play around too much. You, you three years old, so... Yes, go play with your toys. That's literally why I just put you out there for it anyway. You can't do me. What? You can't do me. Are you going to go play with your toys? Go play with your toys then. You really won't. 
Y'all gonna see a video about Bella soon too because she has gotten a lot much older. She literally like starting to cuss now. I don't even know where she's getting that from because I don't cuss anywhere around her at all. Uh, family over here doesn't cuss around her. I'm pretty sure Destiny's family and everything don't cuss around her either. So I don't know where she's getting this stuff from. Maybe from video, maybe from whatever. Uh, maybe I do be cussing around her and I don't even be realizing like that. But I don't know where she gets that from. And she hits people. I will say, I know you guys watch my channel a lot on the come up and everything. Me and Babe Bella have obviously got our fair ones all the time she got a fair ones with cuzzo she got a fair ones with pretty much anybody who had anything to say about her so i think it's kind of stuck in her head but i matured a lot more and i realized that hitting should not be nowhere in the equation so me personally i don't put my hands on bella so when she does something she usually goes to time out uh, i raise my voice of course because that's pretty much my way to assert dominance which i do got to work on that and everything because i shouldn't really be raising my voice but it's just a certain thing she does, man. Like, why would she just lie to my sister about her hitting her and pushing her on the floor for no no reason at all? Like, my sister doesn't even bother her anything. She also be lying on other people about random situations. But I don't know why she does that. I'm trying to break out of that habit. She's been doing it for a little minute now. But I don't know what it is. But yeah, so pretty much she just, I don't know. She's starting to hit people, starting to cuss, starting to lie. And... That's pretty much it. She cries a lot. Obviously, she's three years old, but I'm trying to break her out of that habit to grow up and get out of her shell more because we don't need no soft skin around here in the Makula family. You feel me? But yeah, um, so to break back into my story, you guys will see a video on Bella probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get into that soon. I'm starting to try to post more videos on this channel to try to get back into just the content and everything, the consistency, and just, you feel me, having fun with it because at first I was having fun and everything, but then it felt like a job and I just... Stop posting and stuff like that. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that happened. So, yeah. I'm about to get back to the story, Tom. Um, Like I was saying, I was with my roommate and everything. He's a cool dude and everything. Like, he got all the motion and everything, everything together. But I just couldn't mess with when he was saying the Illuminati stuff and everything. Talking about sacrifice. He was talking about some sacrifice. And I ain't going to get too much into that. But, yeah. He was talking about that. So, I was over here like, hold on, bro. You talking about sacrifice. I'm already in this industry a little bit with social media stuff. So, I'm not trying to, you feel me, put, my, put myself next to people like that that's going in that route. So I'd rather just run up genuine and stuff like that and don't have to get into anything and let anything stop me in my way. But yeah, I was eating good in there. I'm not going to lie. I had commissary and stuff like that. Not even from my own commissary. Other people would just give me their commissary because they knew that I had stuff coming. But I wasn't even there long enough for my stuff to even come. You feel me? So yeah, uh, had commissary and stuff. I was eating noodles. You feel me? Chips, uh, candy sometimes, brownies. I was drinking coffee, you feel me? Coffee kept me alert. I was working out, you feel me? Everything was going good. That's how I actually lost a lot of weight, too. I don't know if you guys know this, but I came out a lot more skinnier than I was when I came in there. And that's from me working out and stuff in my last jail that I went to. I'm going to get into that. So, yeah. So, once the time was pretty much over, I got another roommate after that, too. The dude that was talking about Illuminati and stuff, he left, like, a couple days after he got booked. But, yeah, I got another roommate that came in. It was an older dude. He was a barber. We was chopping up and everything. He was a cool dude, but... Yeah, so I was always the top bunk. No, I was the bottom bunk whenever I, uh, whenever I first, I think, whenever I first, when I first got there, I was the top bunk. And then, um, I don't, for some reason, I like the top bunks. Like, I just, even as a kid, I just always wanted to get the top bunk and everything. So, yeah, I was the top bunk. I just wanted to be there. I was in a room by myself to show the top bunk. And then when my roommate came, I got the bottom bunk. And then, um, my other roommate came, I had, I had the bottom bunk again. So pretty much um, after my time was up over there, I had to get expedited to another jail because I had a warrant there, but I still had to get arrested in Georgia because that's where I got arrested at. And you got to wait for them a certain amount of days for them to come and everything. You got to fill out a form to get expedited, which pretty much transferred over to another jail. So now I was getting transferred over to my last jail that I was at, which was Orange County Jail, which was from uh, Georgia to Orlando, which is about like a four and a half hour, five hour drive. We got some food on the way there too. But I also met two other people that was inside the, the road trip bus or whatever we was on. It wasn't even a bus. It was more like a van with just one side. It was like, so it was like a van. It had a split in the middle. Girls was on this side and then boys was on this side. You couldn't see the girls or boys, but you could talk to them and stuff like that. So it was a girl on the other side of the van and there was two boys with me. So it was three of us in total with the boys and it was one girl. So... Pretty much, um, we was on a bus, man. This dude was coming from Fulton County Jail, which was pretty much one of the toughest county jails uh, out there at Atlanta. Pretty much, he was coming from there. He was telling me stories about how he seen somebody literally get 
graped. Let me say graped. Like, you know, the food graped. But y'all know what I mean, man. So graped. Um, literally with a stick all the way up his junk. And he was also getting burned, too, with a wick. And at the same time, what was happening? Oh, he was getting choked out at the same time. He said he seemed to do like that. He also said that as soon as he stepped in, they made him hit a K2 blunt just to see if he wasn't part of the 60 Days In, which is a jail program, which pretty much brings in actors and everything to go 60 days in the jail. So pretty much figure out everything about the jail, how to make it better and stuff like that. So yeah, they, they tested him doing that. And he said he's seen a whole bunch of demons and he's seen a whole bunch of black shadows and they was chanting songs at him, like evil songs and stuff like that. And I was just shocked because I'm over here sitting here like, bro, like you went through that for real. For the amount of time he was in there, he went through that stuff. I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. But like, I give him props for standing 10 toes behind all that. But like, I wouldn't I wouldn't have smoked that K2 blunt. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I would've probably just passed that and been like, I'm cool on that, bro. I wouldn't want no side effects from none of that happening and stuff like that, man. Yeah, I wouldn't go for none of that. But yeah, there was this other dude also in there that had uh, you were just talking to me about just stuff he had going on with his family and stuff like that. Like, you a pretty cool dude. But we got to the Orange County Jail. Uh, one of this lady, she recognized me and stuff. It was like, Damari? What you doing here, man? I thought you had a uh, daughter to take care of. I said, yeah, she's taking care of and everything. She's like, how long are you going to be here? And I said, man, I'm going to leave tomorrow. I said, I'm going to leave tomorrow because I'm thinking that once I get expedited to the other jail, that I'm going to have uh, to be able to bond out like instantly because like all they had was a warrant in, in this uh the other jail so all i had to do is get there pretty much the warrant is cleared out the system and i'll be able to go home that's not how it worked out at all i told her yeah i'll be going on march i said okay man you better be safe out there da, da, da. stay out here da, da, da. I was like all right cool so i got booked in everything at first i went through like so many different stages of i think it's um corona quarantine and stuff like that like I had to go through one block at first i was sitting in the waiting room from like 3 p.m all the way to 12 a.m literally the next day so i had to i had to what's it called dang man come on the more thing oh yeah i was in the waiting room and everything and there was I, this is the first time i see my fight in the jail uh somebody was sleeping another dude just ran up just started going at it with the dude that was sleeping the dude got up they started tussling man and it happened out of nowhere so a dude came up to me he asked to use the phone real quick the dude that was on the phone was talking regular put the phone down as soon as the phone was over with Walked up to the other dude around the, around the table and everything, and just started wilding out on this dude. I ain't gonna lie to you, like straight going crazy on it, like berserk, man. But yeah, so pretty much he did that, and after that we got booked into this other waiting room and stuff like that. It wasn't no problem there. Everybody just got to sleep and stuff for like a couple hours. But then the next day, that's when people got booked into this other holding cell, which they were just trying to group us from our crimes and everything to put us in different uh, places to like pretty much put us in general population uh, horizon. And there was another one, uh, which was, I think I was in the other one, not horizon. <clears throat> I forgot, it's, it's different sections and everything, man. But yeah, so I was out there and everything. Um, I finally got grouped and everything. I seen a couple more fights. I seen people fighting over biscuits. I seen people fighting over who was taller. I seen people fighting over, um, what else, man? It's crazy. A dude walked in front of somebody, he got in a fight like, bro, people getting tried for, no reason at all like like i'm just glad nobody didn't try me because i would have the bump in there and not knowing how much longer my sentence could be anything man but yeah i'm so glad nothing happened to me um i never really got tried in there nothing really happened i don't know i didn't have no bad intentions with nobody though i was actually real cool man like i was real genuine to a lot of people you feel me so i don't really have a problem with nobody like i come off as real genuine i don't come off as shysty or shady or like you feel me like throwing shots at this person like everybody be really genuine cool with me bro if you really knew me in real life Tajon. so yeah um i got grouped up you feel me in my in my my last little group and all that and pretty much when i got grouped up uh that's when i had a cell with this other dude who was haitian and he got in a fight and got like he got put in a box for a couple of days but he was ending off the rest of his sentence in the box like he was just gonna be able to leave from the box so he had gone to fight with this dude over a battery. He didn't want to get his dude battery back. And you know how that go in jail. Like, if you ain't getting nothing back, bro, like, you feel me? You're going to have to either get it back or you're going to have to take it back or you're going to have to, you feel me, fade over it. So that's what they did. They fought over and jumped like that. But it wasn't even more so battery. It was more so principal. Like, they was calling each other names and everything. And I guess they wasn't going for none of that. So you feel me? They showed up. I can't lie, bro. They did what they had to do. But, yo, pretty much, um... Then I got this other roommate. Me and him real, was real close, bro. Like, that's my dog, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. We was, we was tight, bro. Like, we were just sitting up, chopping up, talking about money moves and everything, man. Just, you feel me? Just really trying to run up as soon as I get out and everything, man. Just just the best way, the easiest way possible, tight jump, bro. 
so yeah, I was over there. Uh, I was in that jail, and what had happened? Cause that wasn't the last jail I went to. Cause I got arrested again after that. <laughs> How did I get arrested again? Is what I'm trying to get to. After all this, so. Oh, okay. So yeah, after I left that jail, everything was cool, man. I hit my dog up over the phone and everything. We chopped it up for a little minute. But then I had a warrant for my arrest from my probation officer because when I got arrested in Georgia, he put a warrant out for my arrest. So then I got arrested again. It wasn't another crime that I did. So when you guys kept being like, man, you must love going back to, back to jail. Like, guys, y'all really don't know what's going on in my life. Like, I hate that people want to comment on something that happened in my life and everything. And y'all really don't know what's going on. Like, y'all see me going to jail. Y'all think it's new crimes that I'm committing and everything. But it's really past stuff that's going on that affected me in my future and everything. That's really what's going on with the situation. And I don't know how much best to explain it, but no, I don't like going to jail. Like, you feel me? It's not a good place to be. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's the struggle in jail. It's not It's not too much of, you feel me? Like, you got to worry about bills and stuff like that and stuff like that. But you sleeping on a hard mattress. You in the cold. Of course, you got a blanket and everything. You surrounded by 70 different people not knowing what germs and stuff they have and all that. Some people don't even wash their ass, you feel me? And you just literally in a box the whole entire day. You don't leave that room at all. You don't, you stay in a secluded room the whole day. Just imagine that, seeing that for days on end. Like, that's how it was. I was sitting there. Of course, you can chop it up with a couple people and stuff like that. I made some friends with a couple people in there. I was walking around, uh, had a little workout buddy in there and everything, stuff like that. So, of course, it wasn't the best situation, but I made work of what it was, man. Every time I get in a situation, I don't think about none of the negatives. Like, a lot of people, when they come down to my life and everything, they think about the negatives and they got stuff to comment on me shady and like slandering my name. And I'm just like, bro, what more do you have to do in your life specifically not to focus on someone else's life in the negative aspect and discourage them totally instead of encourage them? Like, what do you possibly have to be going through in your life to actually do that? No matter what somebody's going through, unless they're over here committing murders or, or sexually pregnant and stuff like that, like... What actually makes you go through in your mind to make you speak negatively on somebody that literally has nothing but genu genuine positive vibes and stuff like that? Of course, sometimes I get in my little character where I get mad and stuff like that. And back then I used to post on social media when I got in beasts like that and put my life on social media and all that. Yeah, that's going to have to stop. But at the same time, it's going to be like, I'm going to give you a little snippet of my life. But I'm not going to give me like when it comes down to a situation with certain people and stuff like that, I'm not going to go all on social media and go on live and stuff like that because that stuff ruins character it brings in the audience which is hatred because people feed off hatred and everything so when you that main one that's talking crazy on the gram or like always getting in beef people gonna love that because they're gonna be like yeah he can't be tried da 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 he always gonna speak on situation da 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 boom i'm coming with him behind him da 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 but as soon as you get some bad stuff they gonna be the ones to turn on you and start speaking on your name so it'll be like you feel me so yeah that's pretty much what happened but uh speaking back to the jail situation um so yeah, I got transferred over to another jail after I uh, got that warrant out for my arrest. And that's when I sat for a little minute for like a month and a half or a month. But yeah, I was sitting in there, man. It was real cool. I had commissary come in. I had movies I was watching. Yeah, we had the tablet in there. I had movies. I was watching TV shows, playing games, you feel me? Uh, playing music, any music, King Von, Lil Dirt, you feel me? Uh, I was playing music, Rod Wave, you feel me? NBA Young Boy. I was playing all the songs, bro, on my, on my uh, tablet and everything. I had commissary coming in there. I had like at least $200, $300 coming in every week. And if y'all know, that's a lot of jail money food. Like, that's a lot of food you can get, bruh. $200 to last you up a whole month of jail food. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all, bruh. So yeah, I had like $200 every week coming in there, grabbing commissary and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you feel me? Just phone calls was loaded. I ain't gonna lie, I was on the phone and stuff like that. I was really just speaking to, it was really Benet, Nunu, uh, my mom, and Cuzzo Devron. I was speaking to the most. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it, it was this one girl that I was speaking to in the second jail I went to. No, no, no. Yeah, the second jail I went to, at first I was speaking to her in the first jail a little bit. Then we went to the second jail, I was speaking to her like every day. But then we went to the third jail. <laughs> went to the third jail, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, she had got me heated over the phone, so I just pretty much told her, forget you, and then never spoke after that again. Like, we got, we was arguing on the phone, bro. She called me childish after that, bro. I didn't wanna hear that. I was already in a messed up situation and everything, so just forgot about her i ain't gonna lie shout out to her though because she was holding me down for a lot of situations but not shout out to her too because like bro the situation over i can't lie but yeah man so once i got out of that situation which was finally after i was able to go to court and everything uh, i was able to get a bond actually was it bond no 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 
it was time served. I was able to get time served because I sat on there for my VOP and everything. I got time served for the whole case and everything was smooth, man. Everything went well, like pretty much like I was able to get out same day, no probation change and everything, same probation. I still talk to my probation officer and everything. But then when I got out, I got hit with a gun case, man. A gun case for some years ago, bro, from some years ago and everything. So I finally got out that gun case and everything. I just beat that. That's why I haven't been posting everything because I was really focused on all my cases. I got one more case I got to go through. It was just a driving case in Georgia. That's actually new. That's why I got arrested the first time I had this whole situation happen. But yeah, I got to deal with that case. Once I deal with that case, I'm pretty much scot-free, which I feel like that case is really going to be a payment I got to do because it was just speeding ticket. It wasn't nothing crazy. Um, So yeah, I just got to pay that and I'll be done. But yeah, I just got a couple court fees. I got probation for a little bit longer and I'll actually be free to go wherever I want. So that's why I haven't been posting content stuff because I know you guys just don't want to see me in the house all day. But even though this is where we started, I know you guys just don't want to see that. Like we came a long way from where we started. So why would we go all the way back and restart from fresh and don't travel nowhere and all that because it's not going to help out anything. But you never know, man. Maybe y'all just want to see what me and baby Ella got going on. Y'all know she got a much older. She got... A lot more emotions, as you guys can tell earlier. Like, I'm trying to fix that. So, y'all guys going to be able to see, see me fix that over time. You guys seen me teach her how to crawl, seen me teach her how to walk. Like, seeing her t teach me a lot of stuff. So, I'm trying to teach her respect and manners over time. Like, certain stuff I try to slowly do because I'm still my childish stage, too. Like, sometimes me and baby Bella be play fighting. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. My mom be like, you need to stop doing that all the time because once you go to uh, school, play fighting with another kid, and she ends up hurting the kid, and you get in trouble, which is 100% correct. But, like... You feel me? Like, I don't know, man. I, I love playing with my daughter and everything, man. We be having fun and stuff like that. So I really don't feel like stop doing that and everything. Like, it's nothing too serious, but I guess she just tries to hit back and all that, which is, like, it's not good for a three-year-old to do, man. It's too childish, actually, if, if you're really thinking about it, man. But, yeah. um, That pretty much explains all my jail situations, man. Like, I haven't gotten to no fights in jail at all. I haven't got tried. I've seen a couple fights and everything, man. Someone did try to jump me into a gang. We're not going to really speak onto that too much, but they tried to include me into the fam and all that. Let me not say gang because they call their family, but they tried to include me into the fam and all that. But I just wasn't going for it. It wasn't nothing wrong with anything with the family and all that they were trying to do, but it's just not my lifestyle. Like, I got too much stuff going for myself right now to even, you feel me, like, get clicked up with people that I don't even need to get clicked up with because they doing type different things than what I'm trying to get folks on. I'm focused on this legal money, man. I'm not focused on no illegal money and stuff like that. I'm focused on getting this loot, running up for my daughter and stuff and staying out of the way. That's all that is, man. But yeah, uh, I'm actually cool with probably about like two, three people from the jail that I, uh, from the jail I've been in and we still chop it up here from time to time. We're not blowing each other phones up every day and nothing like that, but you feel me? We still check up and stuff like that, see how things are doing, see how, see how people been and stuff like that, bro. See people plans and stuff. Everybody just been asking me to get back on this YouTube. Like, that's everything. That's all people been saying is, Amari, come back to the YouTube, man. And, yeah, I'm actually going to come back. You see, your boy got a, a fresh chop and all that, man. I, I haven't got the chop in a little minute and stuff like that. So, I'm ready to get back on the grind and ready just to do fun things again, man. So, yeah, y'all comment down below some videos y'all want to see on the channel with me and Baby Bella, with me and the fam. Uh, I got something crazy coming up at the end of this month. I'm going to have b, &B I'm going to have Nunu, Cuzzo. Uh, probably some other people come out. Some people y'all want to see too. Uh, hopefully my best friend come out too. I don't know if she's going to do that because flights and all that, man. You feel me? She's already in Miami right now. So it's going to be a lot of travel on her end. So I'm not sure if she's going to want to come out to Tampa, but she does. That would be fun. It'll be, it'll be fun and everything. It'll be fun to make content with the, uh, the old gang and stuff like that. I know you guys are going to definitely want to see that. Y'all going to want to see us on live. Y'all going to want to see TikToks. Y'all going to see YouTube videos. So y'all going to want to see everything, man. So yeah, pretty much, um... Yeah, that, that's that's just to sum up the whole video, pretty much. Uh, that's just my jail experience, everything that happened. Um, I don't really know much more what to answer. I know you guys probably want to know how I feel about me being gone from Bella so long, my daughter. Uh, I actually felt very sad. I was FaceTiming and everything, man. She started crying when I was on the uh, FaceTime and everything. Well, it's a video call, not FaceTime, my bad. I was video calling and everything, and she was crying on the video call, man. That made me pretty sad, I'm not going to lie. Um, she was saying she missed me a lot. We was talking for a little bit. I, I got to call Destiny a couple times too, uh, to chop it up with Bella. You feel me? We were just everything was all good. I'm not gonna lie, like, but at the same time, I was missing. I was missing my daughter. Like, I missed her every day. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I was literally just waiting for me to be with her back again every day and stuff like that. Able to do fun things with her. Just a whole bunch of stuff went into it. So 
I, that's pretty much it, man. But yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. We so close to 900K. It would please mean a lot if you guys could run up this video. No cap, for real, for real. Because I'm trying to get back on the grind. I'm not recording on my uh my actual camera no more because the lens broke. I got to get a new lens. So I'm really trying to run it up all the way to the top. We can get a new camera, man. We can get a whip. We can get a crib. Everything back over again. We're going to restart. But we're going to do it much better this time, man. You feel me? I love all of you guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, which probably going to be tomorrow or the next day. You guys gonna see that whether you, uh, whether or not you guys run this up or not. I'm gonna try to be consistent as much as I can. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man, because we need to hit the 900k. We need to hit this milli, man. I see everybody else turning up on YouTube, and we just slacking, man. Well, I'm slacking. I can't say you guys slacking because if I'm slacking, that means we slacking. You feel me? So I can't really say y'all slacking, but I'm slacking, man. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get back in my zone. You feel me? Get back in the kid, Mario fam, all that, and hopefully I can just run it up back to where it was. You feel me? Road to 9k. Let's get it. Let's go.